Your roadmap in auto, welcome to Highway Herald. They say EVs have sparked a revolution in the automotive world, but they forgot to mention EVs are also sparking literal flames. That's right, EVs are increasingly catching fire, not just at charging stations or parking lots, but even on assembly lines, posing significant safety challenges. EV makers are shocked by the frequency of these incidents, and it seems like nobody is doing anything about it. Let's delve into why these fiery incidents are causing such a stir. Number 7. Experts say EV fires are rare, but the reality is more alarming. Experts claim EV fires are rare, but a closer look reveals they're far more dangerous than internal combustion engine fires. Studies may show fewer EV fires proportionally. For example, data from Australia, 2010 to 2020, indicated 0.1% of combustion cars caught fire compared to 0.0012% of EVs. Similarly, the Swedish Contingencies Agency reported 68 fires per 100,000 combustion vehicles versus 3.8 per 100,000 EVs. However, EV fires present unique challenges. One major issue is thermal runaway, a chemical reaction that sustains the fire, raising temperatures and causing reignition long after being extinguished. A study found 13% of EV fires reignite, with one case occurring 68 days later. The battery pack's casing makes it difficult for firefighters to access and extinguish flames. Even when they manage to direct water to the fire, EVs require significantly more water. For instance, a fire at Nissan's Tennessee headquarters required over 45,000 gallons, much more than typical combustion car fires. Number 6. The Hackensack Fire, a wake-up call. In the past decade, electric vehicles have made great strides in performance and range, but safety concerns about EV fires persist. A recent incident in Hackensack highlights these issues. Early one March morning, a smoke detector in a Hackensack parking garage alerted firefighters to a fire. They found an electric Audi Q5 ablaze, leading to a grueling seven-hour firefighting effort with thousands of gallons of water used to cool the battery and prevent reignition. EV batteries store significant energy, generating intense heat when ignited. Burning EVs can reach temperatures of 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 1,500 degrees for internal combustion cars making these fires extremely difficult to extinguish. In Hackensack, it took continuous water flow for seven hours to control the blaze, though the vehicle ultimately burned to the ground. Firefighters struggle to access the battery, which is typically located beneath the cabin and encased in durable materials. Number five, why most EV fire incidents happen in China. China leads the electric vehicle revolution with the highest number of EVs on the road and the most developed charging infrastructure. Consequently, it experiences the highest frequency of EV fire incidents. The rate of these incidents has become so frequent that tracking them has become challenging. Daily occurrences of EV fires are reported across China. Although recent data is scarce, official reports from three years ago indicated over 3,000 fire incidents in 2021 alone. With the substantial increase in EV numbers since then, it's likely that incidents have risen significantly. Currently, EVs make up about a third of the new car market, with over 8.4 million electric cars produced annually. This increase in EV numbers likely contributes to the growing frequency of fire incidents, which may explain the lack of recent official statistics. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore number four, EV fires, a global phenomenon. EV fires are not limited to any one region. They are a global concern. These fires damage manufacturers' reputations deter potential buyers, and highlight the need for more research and investment to address the unique challenges of EV fires. Incidents occur not only among EV owners, but also at assembly lines. For instance, a battery fire at GM's factory last December caused $1 million in damages and required nearly 100 firefighters to respond. Fires also happen at charging stations, such as the recent incident in Oslo, Norway, where an electric bus ignited while parked. Parking garages pose a significant challenge, especially in densely populated areas. In March, an EV fire in a Colorado garage escalated into a full-scale fire, requiring extensive resources to control. A similar incident occurred in Shanghai, China, when several EVs caught fire in a residential parking garage, causing significant structural damage. These incidents underscore the complexity of dealing with EV fires, especially in residential areas. Number three, the persistent threat of spontaneous EV fires. 
Spontaneous combustion is a major concern for potential EV buyers, distinct from the thermal runaway and extinguishing difficulties associated with EV fires. Unlike ICE cars, which rarely ignite without cause, EVs can catch fire even when parked and unplugged in a garage, posing serious safety risks, especially in residential areas. Several incidents highlight this issue. For example, a cargo ship carrying 3,000 vehicles, including 500 EVs, caught fire near the Dutch coast, leading to rapid flames, the death of one crew member, and the ship sinking. This incident threatened the environment around the Frisian Islands and Wadden Sea. As a result, many regions now ban EVs on ferries, and owners often park them on the street instead of in garages. Automakers recommend parking EVs in open areas away from other vehicles to mitigate fire risks. Despite EVs' promise, fires remain a challenge, with safety advancements not keeping pace with the rapid rollout of new models, requiring continued vigilance. Number 2. The Financial Fallout of EV Fires on Insurance The rising frequency of EV fires impacts insurance costs for both companies and owners. EV insurance premiums are higher than those for ICE vehicles due to the costly battery replacements and repairs. Fires often result in more extensive damage, leading to larger claims. Repairing an EV after a fire can be very expensive. For instance, replacing a damaged battery pack can cost tens of thousands of dollars, and many fires result in the vehicle being totaled. A Nissan Leaf incident in Tennessee highlighted such extensive damage that the car was unsalvageable. Environmental cleanup from EV fires adds to costs, as lithium-ion battery combustion releases chemicals that require specialized remediation. Insurers are updating their risk models to address EV fire challenges, including higher reignition risks. As EVs become more common, insurers seek comprehensive data to refine coverage options. Understanding these costs aids in developing safer, more cost-effective solutions for the EV market. Number 1. Cutting-edge technologies to prevent EV fires. As the electric vehicle market grows, new solutions are crucial to mitigate EV fire risks. Researchers and manufacturers are developing technologies to improve EV safety and address issues like thermal runaway. Solid-state batteries are a promising advancement. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries with flammable liquid electrolytes, these use solid electrolytes, reducing the risk of thermal runaway and enhancing safety. Companies like Toyota and QuantumScape are working to bring these batteries to market soon. Another approach involves integrating advanced fire suppression systems into battery packs. These systems detect early signs of thermal runaway and deploy fire retardant materials to control fires. The U.S. Army's experiments with fire-resistant materials for lithium-ion batteries may be adapted for civilian EVs. Improved battery management systems with advanced sensors monitor battery health, detecting issues, and preventing overheating. Innovations like Tesla's 4680 battery cells improve thermal management. Regulatory bodies are updating safety standards, and public education on proper EV handling remains essential. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.